Well, they're really important because what they do is really set out the sort of uh, standard of performance, if you like, that an employee is expected uh, in any particular role that they might be uh, performing. Um, and also, it, uh, it's both being a national standard, it means that they're relevant to wherever the job might be across the UK. And clearly, if people are moving around, then that's going to be important that there's a consistent standard wherever you might be. You know, standards are really developed often with a sector skills council uh, to develop skills in that particular sector or industry or even for a particular job, whereas qualifications are much more about setting a, a clear mark, if you like, in terms of what you've achieved in a particular educational line, uh, which again will help employers sort of uh, be able to judge exactly where you are in terms of your own personal development. Well, it's very much, uh, they, they are usually the representative body for a particular sector and they will work very closely with employers to agree a common set of, of standards that that particular sector will require for particular identified roles uh, across their particular industry. It gives a very clear benchmark as to what is expected from, a, from performance, also in terms of what a, a, an employee needs in terms of knowledge and understanding. Uh, of a particular role, but for an employer then it allows them to, to be able to uh, benchmark where a particular employee is in terms of say recruitment or in terms of training and development uh, across their business uh, and generally improve performance of their business. It allows them to uh, be clear about what uh, employers expect in terms of their undertaking a role, in terms of what they need to know, what they need to understand and how uh, they're performing and also uh, have a clear uh, idea of how they're going to progress in terms of, uh, of both in terms of that particular role and indeed in terms of career progression. Absolutely, I mean so the standards are there for which will cover most uh, industries and will allow give employees if they haven't already got another benchmark uh, a very good way of seeing where they are, what they will need and what other employees in their sectors are using. Well, I think if that sector recognises that they, they don't have a set of standards and it's clearly going to cause them issues in terms of whether it be recruitment, development and so forth, then they, they will know, or they should know, uh, which, which um, uh, skills agency to go to uh, and help develop it. And if not, they could come to somewhere like the Commission uh, to, to get advice on how to do that. This is where I think they are really important, talking to other devolved commissioners. Uh, I know that, uh, that, that, that NOS is really important for each of the devolved nations, but in particular here in Wales, the Minister has recently set out his policy skills statement where quite clearly he fully supports uh, using national occupational standards within Wales for the foreseeable future, and I think that's a really important statement to make.